Industrial decentralization is the process of moving industries away from highly concentrated urban areas or major cities to smaller towns and rural areas. This movement can help spread economic development across regions, reduce overcrowding in cities, and address regional imbalances in job opportunities and resources. Here are 10 causes of industrial decentralization, each with an explanation. 1. Overcrowding in urban areas. As cities grow, they face issues like traffic congestion, housing shortages, and pollution. Moving industries out of cities helps relieve this overcrowding and allows cities to manage their resources more effectively. 2. High land and property costs. In major cities, land and property prices are often very high, making it expensive for companies to buy or lease space. By relocating to smaller towns or rural areas, companies can save money on real estate and operating costs. 3. Government policies and incentives. Governments sometimes offer incentives like tax breaks, subsidies, or grants to encourage businesses to set up in less developed areas. This encourages companies to move out of cities and helps spread economic benefits across different regions. 4. Availability of land. Rural or suburban areas often have more available land for industrial facilities than crowded urban areas. This makes it easier for companies to expand and build larger plants or warehouses. 5. Lower labor costs. In smaller towns or rural areas, wages are generally lower than in big cities. By relocating, companies can reduce labor costs, making production more affordable and increasing profitability. 6. Reduced competition for resources. In urban areas, there is high competition for resources like water, electricity, and raw materials. Moving industries to decentralized locations allows companies to access resources more easily and potentially at lower costs. 7. Environmental regulations. Cities often have stricter environmental regulations to control pollution. Moving industries to less densely populated areas with fewer restrictions can allow companies more flexibility in their operations. 8. Technological advancements. Modern technology, like improved communication and transportation networks, allows companies to operate efficiently even if they are located far from major urban centers. This connectivity makes decentralization more practical. 9. Desire for balanced regional development. Governments and policymakers may encourage industrial decentralization to create jobs and economic growth in less developed areas. This helps reduce regional income disparities and promotes balanced development across the country. 10. Improved transportation networks. With better roads, railways, and shipping options, companies can distribute their goods from anywhere. Enhanced transportation infrastructure makes it easier for industries to operate in decentralized locations without losing access to markets. Here are the advantages of industrial decentralization. 1. Reduces urban overcrowding. Moving industries away from big cities helps reduce congestion, lower traffic levels, and decrease the strain on housing and public services in urban areas, making them more livable. 2. Promotes balanced regional development. Industrial decentralization brings economic growth to smaller towns and rural areas. This helps reduce economic inequality between regions, as more areas get opportunities for jobs, business growth, and infrastructure improvements. 3. Creates job opportunities in rural areas. By setting up industries outside cities, more jobs become available in rural and suburban areas, reducing rural unemployment and giving local residents better income opportunities without needing to relocate to urban areas. 4. Lowers land and property costs for industries. Land and property are generally more affordable in decentralized locations. This helps industries reduce their setup and operating costs, freeing up funds for investment in other business areas like technology or employee benefits. 5. Reduces environmental pressure on cities. Industrial activity often contributes to air and water pollution in urban centers. Decentralizing industries lowers pollution levels in cities, making them cleaner and healthier for residents. 6. Improves resource allocation. Decentralized industries can reduce competition for limited resources like water and electricity in urban areas. By spreading industries out, there's more efficient use of resources across regions, 
and companies can often access these resources at lower costs. 7. Enhances disaster resilience. When industries are clustered in one area, they are more vulnerable to disruptions caused by natural disasters or economic crises. Spreading industries out geographically reduces the risk of large-scale disruptions to production and supply chains. 8. Encourages infrastructure development in new areas. Industrial decentralization often leads to improvements in infrastructure, such as roads, telecommunications, and utilities, in the areas where industries move. This also benefits local communities by providing them better access to services. 9. Supports local businesses. As industries move to rural or less developed areas, they often buy goods and services from local businesses, such as suppliers, contractors, and service providers. This stimulates the local economy and supports the growth of small businesses. 10. Fosters innovation and adaptability. Decentralized industries are more likely to adapt to local conditions, experiment with new business models, and innovate to fit regional markets. This adaptability can lead to the development of new products, services, and business practices that benefit the economy. 10 Disadvantages of Industrial Decentralization 1. Increased transportation costs. Moving industries to remote or less connected areas can lead to higher transportation costs for moving raw materials and finished products. For example, transporting goods from a rural factory to city markets may involve longer and more expensive logistics. 2. Infrastructure challenges. Decentralized locations often lack developed infrastructure, like roads, utilities, and reliable internet, which can hinder efficient operations. Setting up necessary infrastructure can be costly and time-consuming for companies. 3. Limited access to skilled labor. Rural or less developed areas may not have enough skilled workers needed for specialized industries. Companies may struggle to find qualified employees or need to invest heavily in training, raising operational costs. 4. Lower economies of scale. Centralized industrial hubs benefit from economies of scale through shared resources and services, such as suppliers and service providers. In decentralized areas, companies may face higher costs as these resources may not be as easily available. 5. Environmental impact on rural areas. Moving industries into rural or undeveloped areas can disrupt local ecosystems, affecting biodiversity and the natural landscape. For instance, setting up factories may lead to deforestation, water pollution, and other environmental impacts. 6. Reduced urban economic activity. Decentralizing industries can lead to decreased economic activity in cities, potentially impacting urban businesses that rely on industrial demand and the income of urban workers. Reduced economic vibrancy in cities can affect services, retail, and other local sectors. 7. Limited market access. Industries in decentralized areas may face limited access to large markets, particularly if located far from urban populations. This can hinder product distribution, impacting sales and overall profitability. 8. Increased dependence on government support. Industrial decentralization often relies on government incentives, such as subsidies and tax breaks. If these supports are reduced or withdrawn, decentralized industries may struggle to remain viable in less competitive locations. 9. Social displacement and cultural impact. Expanding industries into rural or culturally unique areas can disrupt local communities, leading to social displacement and cultural shifts. Industrialization may change traditional ways of life, creating tension within communities. 10. Difficulty in maintaining consistent quality control. Decentralized industries may find it challenging to maintain uniform quality standards across different locations, especially if facilities in less developed areas lack resources for stringent quality checks. This can affect product consistency and brand reputation.